OMG, I got distracted. <laughs> the traffic distracted me. <laughs> oh, I have such a short attention span. Anyway, hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. This video is about how to stop self harming. First of all, I want to say I've been clean from self harm for one year, six months, and I'm proud of myself. <coughs> so, I kind of know what I'm talking about when I say stop self harming because I, this is the longest I've ever gone without self harming. I do still, still get the nightmares of self harm. That's a big thing. I don't know if anyone else experiences this, but when you fall asleep in a negative mood, I get nightmares of either attempting suicide or self-harming. And honestly, they're so graphic, it wakes me up. So what is the first step to stopping self-harming? In my opinion, it's unfollowing every account on Instagram that posts about self-harm. But yeah, unfollowing on social media the accounts you use to trick yourself. The next step would be getting rid of tools. I used to use Stanley blades to cut myself with and I flushed it down the toilet. But that's the only way to make sure it's permanently gone. And honestly, I I have looked at buying Stanley blades so I can relapse, but then something in me says no, you don't want to throw away what you've earned so how. So that's a really important step for me. Before you self-harm, these are some things to consider. You can try talking to a friend, family member, or a volunteer, or a professional. Try waiting before you consider self-harm. Distract yourself by going out for a walk, listening to music, or doing something else harmless to keep you busy. For me, I have a hot bath with a bath bomb. I do love me some bath bombs. But speaking of distraction, I have an Amazon wish list of things that will make me happy or that will help and go in my distraction box. So if you want to check that out, I'll link it on the iCard up there and in the description down below. Write down how you feel, no one else has to see it. Siren. So those are some things you can consider before self harming. Let's go back to how... Let's go back to how to stop self harming. So for me, I get rid of the tools. I make sure I have no access to anything. I FaceTime my grandparents every day anyway, but I can call them any time of the day and they answer. So that really helps. I don't think I'd be alive if it wasn't one of them. Honestly, uh, the only thing that can stop you from self-harming is you. And I say that because it's true. I know it's a hard thing to deal with, but once you realise that you're the one that's responsible for what you're doing, and you have that accountability with yourself, you know that you can make the decision to stop. Now I know it's an addiction and I know it's hard to give up, but think of life without self-harm. One, you'll have more free time. Two, you don't have to worry about getting infections. Three, you won't have as many scars. Four, you will be happier. Now that's all I've got for this video. If you are new, subscribe. If you've got any questions or any comments on the subject, comment them down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.